so what's calcium chloride doing in my black beans? So first off, let's just kind of look at what is calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is going to look like your table salt if you saw it. It's just a white crystal. Uh, you've got your calcium molecule and then you've got um, chloride with it and you actually have two of those. So that's our calcium chloride together and that's when it's a crystal. And then remember that if you were to put it in water, then you would actually get those two to separate out. And so you'd end up having um, a calcium with a two plus charge and a chloride with a negative charge and then one more chloride with a negative charge. So we're gonna look at the food additives data book and we're gonna look at the calcium chloride section. Specifically, function in foods. And it is a general purpose food additive used as a firming agent in canned fruit and vegetables. Uh, in evaporated milk to adjust salt balance to prevent clotting and a flavor protectant in pickles and a gelling enhancer. So I'm going to talk about this firming agent in canned fruit and vegetables and that gelling enhancer. And to understand that, we need to understand a plant fiber called pectin. Alright, so pectin, if you can think about it as a very long molecule, it's a structural molecule, and I'm just going to illustrate it as a zigzag, okay? So I've got a really, really long molecule of pectin. And every once in a while on pectin, you'll have a negative charge, okay? It's not everywhere, but it's here and there. And I'm going to just draw another molecule of pectin. This is part of the cell wall structure that you're going to have in those black beans. And also the cucumbers that the pickles are made out of. And also, this is a molecule, this pectin molecule is used for jams and jellies. So when you bring in calcium chloride, into water, remember that is going to split up and it's going to just be a charged particle. So that two plus charge, that's what's important here. So if I bring in calcium, two plus, I have the ability to associate with two negative charges. So we're gonna associate with this negative charge right over here on this on this pectin molecule and we're also going to associate with that one and this thing this whole thing is called a calcium bridge and it helps lash together these long fiber molecules of pectin so that the whole structure can be firmer so the reason you have it in these black beans is so that your beans aren't mushy but that they're they're actually firm and they have some bite and some chew to them same with pickles, it helps them be crisp. Um, and in your jam, it helps your jam stay firm. Pretty cool, right?